In this video, I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to easily set up your online course using WordPress. For beginners, building an online course can oftentimes be overwhelming and pretty expensive, but it's actually a pretty easy process and I'll walk you through exactly what you need to do from start to finish so that you can get your course up and running at a really affordable price. You also don't need to know any coding because the method that I'll be showing you guys is a very beginner-friendly process. So feel free to follow along with this video as I show you the steps. So let's get into the video. Okay, so before we go and build out your online course, let's first go over how to set up your WordPress website. So here I am on hostinger.com. And if you guys use the link down below, you guys are gonna get taken to this website right here where you can get up to 75% off of hosting, which is pretty much $2.99 per month. And you can even get three months for free on certain deals. So this is one of our favorite hosting platforms. They have a really beginner friendly interface. So it's great for people that are just getting started. And we have a special code that you guys can use where you guys can get an even bigger discount. So once you guys get to this website, just go ahead and click on claim deal. And then you guys are going to get taken to this page right here where it goes over the web hosting plans. You have the premium web hosting, the business web hosting, and the cloud startup. Now for most of you guys just getting started, I would say that the premium web hosting plan is perfect. But if you have a bigger business and you want to go for the business web hosting, you'll have access to things like an extra 100 gigabytes of SSD storage. You'll have daily backups, a bit more RAM, another CPU core. So just things that'll help out with your website performance. Performance. And then they'll also give you some additional WordPress options like object cache and the WordPress staging tool. So if those apply to you guys, then go ahead and get the business web hosting because it's just a dollar extra per month. But again, for most of you guys, the premium web hosting would be just fine. So I'll go ahead and click on add to cart right here. And from there, it's gonna take me to this page right here where I could choose a period for my premium web hosting plan. So you guys can see they have a one month plan, 12 months plan, 24 months plan, and even a 48 months plan. Obviously, the more that you guys wanna save, the longer the plan that you guys need to choose. So I'll go ahead and choose the 48 months right here. And then right here, I'll just enter in my email address to create my account. And then down here, I could select my payment method. So I'll enter in my information. And then down here where it says have a coupon code, I'll just click on that. And then make sure you guys put in Charlie Jang and then click on apply. And then from there, it's going to give you an even bigger discount, as I said. So right here, you guys are going to get four years worth of web hosting for only $130. So that's a really, really good deal. I don't know any other web hosting platforms that will give you this kind of deal right now. So again, we'll be leaving a link down in the description below for you guys to follow along and enter in the coupon code yourself. I don't know how long this sale is going to last. So make sure you guys take advantage of this while you can. And then once you guys put in your credit card information, you guys can just click on submit secure payment right here. Now, once you guys are done purchasing Hostinger and you guys have created an account, you guys are going to get taken to the homepage right here. And you guys are probably going to see something that says premium web hosting pending setup. From here, I'll click on setup. And then it's going to basically run you through the guided setup where you can set up your website in a few minutes. So I'll click on start now. I'll click on create a new website. And then here you have two different options. You have selecting WordPress, or you can actually build a website using the Hostinger's website builder. We have another video that'll actually teach you how to make a website using Hostinger's website builder. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can check out that video. But for this video, we'll just choose WordPress. Now from here, it'll allow you to create your login details for your WordPress account. So just go ahead and put in the email that you want and the password that you wanna use. Now from here, it's gonna ask you if you wanna add any plugins to your website. Website. For this one, it's totally optional if you guys want, but for now, I'll click on skip. Then it's gonna ask you which look do you prefer. So this is gonna be the theme of your website. And if you guys want, you guys can preview the theme. You can see what it looks like on desktop and mobile, and then just scroll around. And then if you guys like it, then you guys can click select and continue. But for now, I'll click on skip. I don't need a template. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna automate some of your text creation with AI. So you would just enter in your brand name and your business details, and then you'll let ChatGPT handle the rest. For now, I'll just click on skip. Now from here, it's going to ask me if I want to claim a free domain or use an existing domain that I already purchased. But with your guys' hosting or website plan, you guys are actually going to get access to a free domain. So again, another reason why hosting are so good, they actually do everything for you. That way you don't have to go to another website to actually purchase your domain name. I'll go ahead and select this and then I'll enter in my desired domain name. So let's just call this one Charlie's Courses and then we'll choose a .com and then click search. So we can see that this domain is available. So we'll just click on continue. And then from here, it's going to ask you to fill out the domain domain owner's contact details. So just make sure that all of this information is correct and then click finish registration. Okay, so now it's gonna say that, well done, you are ready. So now once you're good, it's gonna allow you to either edit your website or go to your control panel. And now it's the fun part where we can actually customize our website. So we'll go ahead and click edit website right here. Okay, so now I am in the WordPress dashboard. And as you guys can see, I have some things on the left-hand side that says dashboard, posts, media, pages, comments, and all these other options right here. And now is where we 
we actually get to build out our course. So we're gonna be using the Lifter LMS plugin for this video. And if you guys aren't familiar with what that is, that's basically a WordPress plugin that's totally free and it's very beginner friendly for people that wanna build courses. So we'll go ahead and go to plugins right here. And that's gonna take me to this page right here where it shows me all of the plugins that I currently have. And if I want to add a new plugin, then I'll just click on add new right here. And then right here is where I can actually search for it. So I'll go ahead and put Lifter LMS. And then as you guys can see, it pops up right here. I'll go ahead and click on install now. And then once that is installed, I'll go ahead and click activate. Now, once that's done, it's gonna take you back to your dashboard. And you guys can see there's some other pages on your sidebar now called Lifter LMS, your courses, memberships, engagements, orders. And then it's gonna actually allow you to go through their setup, which will guide you through all the basic settings and help you configure your Lifter LMS. So I'll go ahead and click get started now. And first it's gonna show you some of the essential pages that are gonna be created. So you'll have the course catalog, the membership catalog, the checkout and the student dashboard. For this, you guys can just click on save and continue. And then it's gonna take you to the payments option. So which country should be used. If you guys are in a different country that accepts different currency then you guys can choose differently. And if you want, you can also accept both online and offline payments. So I recommend just checking this just in case you wanna accept offline payments. It doesn't hurt to have more options. So I'll just go ahead and check that and then click save and continue. And then from here, it's gonna ask you if you wanna allow Lifter LMS to collect your information and that way they can make their plugin stronger and they'll also send you a coupon. So if you guys want, you guys can click allow. For me, I'll just click no thanks and boom, the setup is now complete. So they're gonna give you some resources that'll help you get familiar with the basics of Lifter LMS. You guys can either watch their video tutorials or you can read their guide online and you guys can also import some of their sample courses and templates. But for now, I'll just click on start from scratch. Okay, so once you guys have finished that setup, you guys can go back to your WordPress dashboard and then go over to courses right here. And then here's where you can start adding in your course and then customizing all of your information. So I'll go ahead and click add course right here. And now it's gonna take me to the WordPress block editor. So I'll just go ahead and close out of this. And then it's gonna ask me to add a title. So let's just title this test course for this video. And then we'll click on publish. Right here, we can add a short description of the course. We can go in on each block and then edit what it says. So we can even go ahead and click on these three dots right here and then click remove if we wanna just delete it. And if we wanna go ahead and add something, we can click on this button right here and we can add things like paragraphs, headings, lists. We can even add images. So let's say I wanna add an image. If I scroll down, you guys can see that it adds it right here. And now I can insert from a URL. I can pick from my media library or I can upload an image. I can also change the design of the website by adding some buttons. I can add some columns. I can add some widgets like a calendar and it's just super customizable. So I recommend that you guys just go in and mess around with some of these settings on here and customize your page to however you want it to look. Now, if I go over to the course right here on the right hand side, you guys can scroll down and then you guys can actually see on the bottom, it says course builder right here. So if I go ahead and click launch course builder, it'll go ahead and take me to this blank page right here. And then this is where I can actually start building out the course content. So I can go ahead and add a few sections here. So let's add in, let's say five different sections. And then if we want to add new lessons between each section, we could just click on this. And then let's say I want to add some to section two. So I'll select that and then click new lesson. And then if I want to rename some of this, I would just have to click into here and then start editing it right away. And then right here for lesson one, I have a bunch of different options like editing the website on WordPress. I can go ahead and view the lesson right here. I can go ahead and delete the lesson. And I can also do things like adding assignments and quizzes. So let's just go ahead and open the WordPress lesson editor. And as you guys can see, it brings us to the exact same WordPress block editor that we saw before. And right here, we could just go ahead and just add a new block. And then let's just add a paragraph, for example. And then right here, we could just start typing things. And if we want to move things around, we can go ahead and select this and then drag it wherever we want. So let's say we want to add it before the mark complete. We can go ahead and change the alignment. We can bold it. We can insert a link. And if I go down here to the more, I can go ahead and highlight it. I can add a keyboard input. And yeah, it's pretty customizable. I recommend again, just go through all these different settings and then changing them to how you want it to look. Once you're done, just make sure that you click on update right here. And then if I go back, you guys can see that I don't need to actually click on save right here because this page actually auto saves for me. So if I go back, this is going to be the homepage of the course. So you guys can see it has the author, the information, it has the progress bar, and then it has all the different sections that I just added. If I scroll down all the way to the bottom right here, you guys can see that I can add access plans. So if I go ahead and click add new, I can go ahead and give the plan a title. I can put the enrollment text. I can make the course free, or I can make it a payment. I can choose between the frequencies. So I can make it a one-time payment, or I can make it a recurring payment. I can give them lifetime access or make it expire. And I can also make the plan available to anyone or members only. So this is where you'd be able to customize this access plan. Again, just go in here and fill it out with your course information. From there, you would just need to click on save and then it would pop up right here 
where it says no access plans found. So I just created a test access plan just so you guys can see how it looks. And as you guys can see, this is how the box looks. It shows the title, it shows the price, and then it gives you a button that allows you to enroll. If I want, I can also go to course right here and then I can add things like categories. I can add difficulties. I can add tags. I can add a featured image and all this stuff can actually be edited back in the WordPress. So I'll go ahead and click update right here to save all of my changes. And then I'll click back to WordPress. And then if you guys go to the courses right here on the left-hand side, you guys can actually see that I can customize the categories. So I can go ahead and give the category a name and a slug for the URL. I can give it a description. So if I have multiple courses within my website, I can go ahead and add different categories. I can add different difficulties. So by default, they give me advanced, beginner, and intermediate. I can go ahead and add different tags. And then right here is where I can manage all of my memberships. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You would just have to click on add membership right here. And then this would be the exact same thing. You would just go in here and then start editing everything to how you want it to look. Let's move on to the orders. This is where you can find all the people that have bought your course and you can go ahead and create different coupons for people to use. And you guys can also go to Lifter LMS right here. And then you guys have access to the dashboard where it gives you just a general overview of everything. So the enrollments, the registrations, the net sales and the lessons completed. You guys can view your sales report and you guys can look at some of their popular add-ons like integrating PayPal as well as some other ones that they have. And then if you go into your settings right here, you guys can go over to the courses and then you guys can change some of the settings on here. It's super customizable. I won't be able to go into all of this stuff. Otherwise the video would be too long, but yeah, you guys can just go ahead and change all the stuff to how you want it to look. And there you have it. You have successfully created your online course on WordPress using Hostinger and Lifter LMS. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how to use Lifter LMS from start to finish in the future, then go ahead and like this video and then drop a comment down below. And then we'll go ahead and make that video. Feel free to reference back to this video at any point if you guys want to go back and follow these steps again. And yeah, we highly recommend that you just dive in and get started. Entrepreneurship and business is all about risks and you can't let analysis paralysis stop you from achieving your dream. So go out there and get started using Hostinger and Lifter LMS today. Again, make sure to use our discount code on Hostinger to get an even bigger discount. But yeah, anyways, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a ton of value from it. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.